Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Good evening. Good ah, okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. And you? Fine. You? Very well. Ready for rock and roll. Okay. Very yeah. good. Good. <laughs> hey, my name is Eric, and I will be your teacher for this module. So nice to meet you. Uh, for first of all, maybe what we are going to do is introduce ourselves. So my name is Eric. I live in Santana. I really like music. Uh, I like to play the guitar. I like uh, watching TV a lot, movies, TV shows, and things like that. And it's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. So, a ver quién quiere presentarse el next. Who wants to be the next? Hello, Eric. Uh, my name Hello. is Richard. Ricardo. Uh, is uh, living in Huachapan. I like it. I like that football. Good. Soccer. Nice to meet you, Ricardo. Nice to meet you, teacher. Okay. Who wants to be the next? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Edwin Rivas. I live in Mexicanos. Uh, I am very happy to be here. <laughs> Welcome to the English class. Thanks, teacher. Good. Who wants to be the next one? Hello, Hello. my name is Joanna Aguilar. I live in Soyapango and I like um, to listen music as well. And I'm glad to be here with you learning a little bit more English. Perfect, thank you. And welcome to the English class. Who wants to be the next one? Hello, teacher. Uh, my name is Marilyn. I live in San Jose Villanueva. Um, and in the future, I will be uh, speak very well English. <laughs> of course. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the English class. Thank you. Who wants to be the next one? Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Carol Rivera. I like to listen to music. I live in Soyapango. Perfect. Thank you. And welcome to the English class. What? Welcome to the English class. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Who wants to be the next one? Hi, teacher. My name is Elvis. Um, I, like to, I like to read. I like to listen to music. And I like to play the piano. Very good. You're a very artistic person. That's nice. Welcome to the English class. Thank you. Who wants to be the next? Hi, my name is Gerardo. I live in Lourdes and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the English class. Next. Hi, my name is Hilda Alvarado. I live in Ilopango. I go at Fusalvo. I like uh, my hobby and my favorite hobby is running. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to the English class. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Faltan solo un par de tres personas, creo. Carol. Hello, Carol. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, ya pasó usted. Sí, yes. tiene razón. A ver, mm -hmm. nos falta Nicolás. Eh, hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Nicolás. Nice to meet you. I live in La Libertad and I like to play football and watch series. Very good. 
Thank you. Welcome to the English class. Thank you. Creo que también nos falta Darwin. Hello, Darwin. Hello. Es que no se ve nada. Así que se tiene problemas con el audio, me imagino. Yo. Bueno, nos falta también a ver, Lorena. Hello. Excuse me. Don't worry. It's just tengo problemas técnicos. Okay. Um, nice to meet you. Um, my name is Lorena Bermúdez. I'm living in Soyapango, and I like um, reading books. And um, uh, is uh, uh, pass with my family. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, solo nos faltaba Darwin, pero creo que tiene problemas con el audio. So, my friends, the first question is: uh, Everybody, does everybody have access to the platform already? Yes. Just to check. Yes. No problem at all. Everybody's fine, right? No yes. yes. Okay. Uh, remember that uh, it's interesting if you move forward and you do the exercises. And here, this class, the one that we're going to have in video is to practice. Sometimes I like to bring uh, grammar that is not in the platform, but that is related to what we are looking to. So, uh, Sometimes you are going to see something different here in this class, uh, but it's like a compliment. Uh, also, if you have questions, you can ask at any time. Uh, you can also send me questions into the chat, into the group chat, or directly to my number, to uh, WhatsApp, my, my, my direct chat. So you can do that one. Uh, if you need exercises, I can send you exercises so you can practice. Uh, and it's very important that if you don't understand something, please uh, ask questions, okay? Uh, in English, there are like different levels. The first thing is to understand. Then practice, right? And then you are going to be fine. Everything will be fine, okay? So if everybody have access to the platform and everybody, we know everybody, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the class, okay, directly. Okay, the first topic that we are going to check is the past verb to be. Uh, well, I have a question for you. Uh, do you see very well the, uh, the words? Can you read? Everything's fine? Yes. 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 Okay, very well. So the first thing that we're going to check is the past the verb to be. As you may remember, we use the verb to be in present, like when we say, I am, you are. He is, she is. This is very easy, very, very easy. So for affirmative, for singular, we're going to use, instead of am um or is, we're going to change that to was. So I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was big. So all the singulars are going to be was. And for the plurals are going to be where. We were early. You were at school. They were quiet. Okay. So this is like the affirmative side. In the other's uh, hand, we have negative. For the negative, we're going to contract was not into wasn't. Okay. Or we're going to contract were not into weren't. Pronunciation is very important in the singular. Please don't say wasn't because you don't have an either. It's wasn't, wasn't, okay? 
la E, hay, hay muchas personas que siempre que hablamos del español al inglés, que sí le meten una E por ahí, el wasn't, pero no, ¿verdad? es wasn't, wasn't, that is very important, ok, that is the affirmative and the negative, then we have the questions, so for example, uh, for they were happy, the only thing that we're going to do is to switch, we're going to change uh, the verb to be. It's going to be before the subject. So they were happy. It's going to transform into were they happy. She was rich. It's going to transform into was she rich. Also remember the intonation in questions. It's not the same as in affirmative and negative. I mean, you can say they were happy. But the question is, were they happy? Intonation is very important. So the other person understands that you are asking a question. Okay. And remember that we can uh, answer short. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Okay. And of course, we can use WH questions with the verb to be. The same as in present, okay? We're going to use first the WH word, where, why, when, who, whatever you want, plus the verb to be, was, where, and then the subject, and then the complement. Why was he angry? Where were you yesterday? When was she nervous? Who were those people? So WH questions are going to be the same exactly as in present. The only difference is that we are going to change the verb into past, was or were. So that is like the verb to be in past. Do you have questions about that? <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, thank you. Questions about the verb to be past? If you have questions, please do. Okay. En el transcurso de la clase vamos a hacer un ejercicio, ya como, como ya, ya estamos en intermedio, ¿verdad? ya podemos hacer un tipo de ejercicio un poquito más avanzado. Yo les voy a preguntar qué significa una palabra, pero ustedes me van a explicar en inglés. So, for example, if I say, what is a TV? Something very easy. You can say, oh, a TV is a machine, a device that we use to watch movies, for example, okay? Everybody okay. can say, uh, se puede decir de muchas maneras, media vez se entienda, it's fine, okay? So we're going to try to do that in English, okay? And if somebody has a question, also we're going to try to do that in English. Solo la parte gramatical que podría tener alguna pregunta y para clarificar bien, si puede ser que la expliquemos en español. Other than that, we're going to try to use English, okay? So I have a question for you. What is to be hungry? Anybody? Hungry, what is hungry? Okay, Joanna, tell me please. Yes, it's when you want to eat something because you want to eat. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's because you, you are hungry. That's why you want to eat something. Very good. Thank you. That is perfect. So as Joanna said, hungry is when you want food, when you want to eat. Nice. What is to be thirsty? When you need uh, drink water. Good when you need to drink water, liquids, anything like that one, right? What is to be early? When uh, get up. Uh, very early, for example, uh, for example, 6 a.m. Okay, very well. 
Yeah, early is like the opposite of late, right? When you are late, it's not good. When you are early, it's before time. Nice. What is to be quiet? It's when the people is, uh, say nothing. It's Ooh. a silent. Yeah, when people are silent. Nice. Good. What is to be noisy? The opposite of silent. That is it. Noisy <laughs> is when you do a lot of sounds, right? Or a machine or something like that. Okay, very good. Nice. I like it. So we are going to continue then. Of course, we are going to practice. Let's see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to complete the sentences with the past of the verb to be. So number one, how is it gonna be? Can you read? Okay. Yes. I was happy. I was happy. Good. Number two. You was angry. You was angry. You were. Where, where, you were. Where? Angry. Sorry, you sorry. Were angry. You were angry. Good. Number three. Where she, she, was, she, she was. She was, was in London last week. Nice. She was in London last yes. week. Number four. He was, was on, on holiday. holiday. He was on holiday. Good. Number five. It was cold. Cold. It was cold. Nice. Number six. We were. We were at school. We were at school. Cool. Nice. Number seven. We were at the you were at the cinema. At the cinema. Good. Cinema. You were at the cinema. Nice. Number eight. They were, they were, were, at, were at, at home. home. They were at home. Number nine. The cat, the cat was on the roof. On the roof. The cat was on the roof. Nice. Number ten. The children were in the garden. The children were in the garden. The children were in the garden. In the garden. Okay, let's check some vocabulary on this one. What is to be, uh, what is a holiday? It's a, a day day special day vacation. We work on a special day. A special day that you don't work, right? Something like that. It's a uh, day to enjoy. Yeah, with family, with friends. Enjoy the time. The nice. Time. <laughs> okay. What is a roof? And number nine, roof. Nine. And the roof is the like roof a ceiling. The house. Like a ceiling. The house. Yeah. It's on the top of the house, right? It's okay. for you to protect from the rain and the sun and things like that. Good. Let's go to the other part. Number one, how is it going to be? I was in Canberra last spring. I was in Canberra last spring. Good. Number two. We were at school, we were at school, school last Saturday. Saturday. We were at school last Saturday night. Number three. Tina was, Tina was at home yesterday. Tina was at home yesterday. Number four. He was happy. He was happy. He was Number happy. Good. Number five. Robert is staying where Gary's friends. Gary's friends. Good. Robert stand where at Gary's friends. Good. Number six. You were very busy on Friday. You were very busy on Friday night. And uh, number seven. They were in, they were in, in front, front of the supermarket. supermarket. They were in front of the supermarket. Perfect. Number nine. I was, I, was, I was in the museum. I was in the museum. museum. I was in the museum. Good. Number nine. She was, she was, in, she was in South Africa last, last month. month. She was in South Africa last month. And number 10. Yes, Jessica, Jessica and Kimberly, Kimberly were late to, to school. school. 
Eight. Jessica and Kimberly were late for school. Late. For school. For school. Nice. Very well. Let's check some vocabulary here. What is spring? In number one. Spring. Spring is a. It is a season. It's a season. 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 Yeah. Yes. Where there are many flowers, right? And it's like very beautiful. Nice. What is to be busy? Number six. Is to have a lot of job. To have a lot of work to do or a lot of work activities, right? Nice. Homework, a lot of homework. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't think there is any other thing here. Okay. Let's move on. And the next one is going to be negative. So number one, how is it going to be? In, they, they weren't. weren't. They weren't. They weren't. weren't, weren't, weren't. weren't. Yeah. They weren't ill. Ill. Nah. Number Ill. number two. You wasn't. You weren't. You wasn't. You weren't. 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 You the children, the children, children were in quiet. Were quiet. The children were in quiet. Nice. Number four. Max, Max wasn't, wasn't in the health class. Since the last. Last week. Ah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, checking that you were like, what is saying there? <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Max wasn't in Helsinki last okay. week. week. Number five. She was, she she was for dinner. dinner. She was she home was for dinner. Home dinner. For dinner. She wasn't home for dinner. Good. Number six. The water was not cold. The water was not cold. Good. Yeah. Number seven. There were a good film on TV yesterday. There wasn't a good movie film. There wasn't. Yeah. It was because it says ah and ah is singular, right? So it's okay, going okay, to be yeah, yeah. yes. Thank you. There wasn't a good film on TV yesterday. Nice. Mm -hmm. Number eight. We were in we Brazil. We were in, in Brazil, Brazil last, last winter. winter. Good. We weren't in Brazil last winter. Number nine. Betty and Florence. Betty and Florence. Betty and Florence. Florence. Weren't. 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 School this morning. This morning. Betty and Florence were in a school this morning. Very good. And number 10. I was happy, I wasn't happy when I, I hear about the accident. About the accident. I wasn't happy when I hear about the accident. Good. Let's check some vocabulary. In number one, what is ill? When you feel sick. Yeah, it's like being sick. Good. And number two, what is tired? Okay, when you've been working and you need to relax or rest. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. What is, let me check. Um, I guess there is no order here. No, that was good. So let's check the other part. Okay, negative as well. Number one. Our trip to Spain weren't great. Great. Weren't great. Weren't great. Wasn't. 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 That is wasn't. Our yeah. wasn't. That is the trip is one. Is for wasn't. Is for wasn't. Okay. What wasn't? Was it singular? Because, because, because was. Uh, it's, it was because it's just one trip. It's singular. Ah, okay. okay. One trip, okay. Uh -huh. Because it's our trip. If the sentence says our trips, then trip. it's going to be plural. So that is very important. Oh. So you have, you have to, when you use the, uh, the verb to be, 
and then you have to identify if it's plural or singular, and then you are going to identify if it's going to be was or were. That is it. Okay, right. number two. I weren't I was, in London. I was, I was, I was in, in, in London last summer. Good. I was in London last summer. Good. Number three. My sister and her friend wasn't no, weren't wedding the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Good. My sister and her friend weren't at a nice restaurant. Guys, because they are two people. Okay, number four. I went to a Olivia. Went to Olivia. But she wasn't at home. Wasn't she at wasn't home. at home. Good. I went to Olivia, but she wasn't at home. Nice. Number five. My friends. My friends weren't very busy. My friends weren't very busy. Nice. Number six. The weather was good there. Was the weather the wasn't, wasn't, good. wasn't yeah. good there. Good there. Yeah. Okay, number seven. The exercise was very easy. They weren't difficult. They were difficult. Very good. So in this one, in this one, we need to use like the logical thing, right? So it's going to be the exercises, plural. Where? weren't e easy. easy they were difficult right so the first one is negative and the mm. other one is affirmative okay Good. okay what about number eight lisa lisa and her happy. Were and they happy. very happy happy they were angry. they were angry yeah it can be both ways actually mm. you can say lisa and henry weren't very happy they were angry or the opposite. I mean, uh, and the okay. two ways is going to be good. What about number nine? We, we were in the home all day. It was very boring. It was very boring. It was very boring. It was very boring. Boring. OK, very good. Let's check some vocabulary here. Um, trip, what is a trip in number one? When the people travel to the one side or the other side to the or country to other country. Good. It's like to travel to another country, another place, right? Another Very place. nice. What is, let me think. Um, I guess I don't have any. Oh, weather. What is weather in number six? It's time. Weather is. Weather is is it climb? The climb. The climate. Good. Very climate. nice. Climate. Okay, for the other ones, we're going to practice some questions. Okay, let me just move this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a question. So for number one, how is it going to be? Were they were intelligent? intelligent? Were they intelligent? Good. Nice. Number two. Was it warm? Was, was, was it warm? Was it warm? Good. Was, was it, it warm? warm? Number three. Was Jim, was Jim clever? Was Jim clever? Good. Number four. Was he, was he ambitious? ambitious? Was he ambitious? Good. Ambitious. Number five. Were we late? Were we late? Were we late? Were we late? Number six. Was you busy? Were you busy? Were you busy? Were you busy? Busy. Yeah, remember that with you, we're going to use where because that is singular or plural, but always yes. it's going to be like good. Number seven. Were people. In a hurry. Were people in a hurry? Were people in a hurry? Good. And number eight. Were they, Were they happy? happy? Were they happy? Nice. Very good. 
let's see some questions. What is to be ambitious? In number four. Ambitious when the people want people to want get everything. Yeah, when more. people they want more, right? More. They want a lot of things. money, things, or mm -hmm. something like that. What is to be clever in number three? When someone is smart or intelligent. Good, smart or intelligent. What is to be in a hurry? Like in number seven. They want to arrive um, quicker or faster. Yeah. Somewhere. Nice, very good. They want to arrive. They want to go to a place very fast, right? Something is going on. Oh, maybe they're late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And another little practice here. This is like a conversation. So, Peter and Paul are talking, and, and the number one says, Hello, Paul, where? Uh -huh. Where were you? Where last were you last month? Where were you last month? Yes. Very good. And number two. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. I, Peter. I was in the I USA. USA. I was in Miami. I was in Miami. I was in Miami. Good. Number three. What was it like? What was it like? Good. Number four. It was great. It was great. The sea was calm on the weather. Okay, so yeah, um, it was great. Let me just move here. And the weather was incredible. Was incredible. Very nice. Incredible. And the weather was incredible. Good. Number five. And what? What was the hotel light? Good. And what was the hotel like? Number four. I'm sure it's not four, it's like number six. <laughs> there was a casino and there, there were four movie theaters. Good, fantastic. There was a casino and there were four movie theaters. What about number seven? What were the people like? What were the people like? What were the people like? What were and number eight? They, they were they were charming, charming and friendly. Friendly. Good. Charming and friendly. Nice. Let's check some vocabulary. Um number four. What is the C? Okay. Like the ocean. 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 Nice, nice, nice. And what is, let me check. Um, what is charming? I don't know. When people is nice and friendly. Yeah, okay. it's people that you really like that person, right? It's very oh, charming, yeah. you say. It's a very, very nice charming. person. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, lovely, that is good. Light. Charming. Very polite and lovely. Good, good. Do you have any questions so far? No, no question. question. Clear no, as horchata. Good. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is something that we were discussing before. WH questions, right? That we are going to use um, the verb to be in past, of course, after the WH question. Maybe here the review is, uh, when do we use why? When do we use questions with why? why? When we request a reason for something. Reason, that is good. Why? Ah, oh, because I like, because I don't want to go. Reason, that is for reasons. Okay, the other one is very easy because it's about what, what time. Okay, so that is very easy because it's like in general. Uh, but I have a question for you. What is the difference between what and which? 
when are we going to use what? And when are we going to use which? Which? which, which uh, about something when you ask a description? What? Description. Option. That is key. Option. Which is yes. when a uh, choice? Choice. That is it. So what is in general? I mean, if, if I, I ask you what is your favorite color, you can tell me any color. But which is when I have options here. I have black and white and I ask you which is your favorite color. And you okay. say black or white, there is no more, right? So that is it, it's for options. Uh, when do we use where? And you ask about place. Places, good. Place. And when? No, uh, the time. Time, very good, time. And who? When you ask about person. person. Uh, Very good, people, nice. Okay, okay. So I know that you know this one, so we're going to move on, okay. Okay, so let's build a question here. Number one, how is it gonna be? Why were the children upset? Very good, perfect. Why were the children upset? Children is plural, right? So it's <laughs> why were the children upset? Number two, how is it gonna be? Where are you? Where were you? Oh, where right. were you? Are you? Very good. Number three. Where, no. How, How was, was the weather? weather? Who was the weather? How was the weather? How, how was the weather? Number four. When were he, when when was was he at home? home? When was he at home? When was he at home? Very good. Number five. Why were they at, Why the, were hospital? They at the hospital? Hospital. Why were they at the hospital? Good. Number six. How long was the concert? How long was the concert? Was the concert. Good. Number seven. Why were, Why were, you, late? were you late? Why were you late? Good. Number eight. Where was your sister last summer? Where were your sister last summer? Where was your where sister was last summer? Sister. Because your sister is she, right? It's her. Okay. okay. Where ah, was okay. Okay, number nine. What was, what was she, she afraid, afraid of? of? What was she afraid of? Good. And number 10. When was, when was, he, when when was he at the stadium? stadium? When was he at the stadium? Very nice. Stadium. Stadium. Very good, you are doing very great. Let's check some vocabulary. Number one, upset. Mm -mm. When people was disorder or is the problem? Something like that. When a person is worried or is like angry, but less. Angry. It's less than angry. You, you're not happy. Something is going on, right? Okay. Okay, the old one is going to be, let me see whether hospital, afraid, number nine. Wait, when Sorry. I um, when something is um scaring you scaring good. nice okay. when something someone is scaring you something that you feel that is not good and you were afraid of it's a feeling. Nice. It's, a feeling. it's a feeling very nice good questions that you have okay, okay. very good question Nice. Uh, if you have questions, you please ask. Uh, but it's, yeah, this topic is not that complicated. Now we're going to check in general, simple past tense. In general, not only the verb to be, but we're going to go to the, to all the other verbs. So the first question is when? When do we use the simple past tense? 
we have different situations. First situation is going to be uh, that we can use it for a series of completed actions in the past. So an action was completed, it's finished. So for example, I visited my grandmother, stayed for one or two hours. So visited meaning that it's done, it's finished. Chatted with her and went to my home. So all the actions there, they are in the past, finished already. My brother woke up, washed my face, got dressed and left home. Many situations that are in the past, finished already. Okay. Uh, do you know what is chat? Chatted with her. <clears throat> what is chat? I mean, a conversation. Yeah, it's, it's like someone. a little conversation, right? Like, let's chat. Okay, very well. The other situation that we use for the simple past tense is when uh, completed actions in the past. One single action. Not many, but one. Like when we say he went to Paris two days ago or we saw him last Sunday. I heard a terrible explosion last night. So actions in the past. Then we can use it for single period with time expressions. For example, he had a girlfriend for three years. So that is an action that is in the past, but it's a period of time. But the period of time is in the past already. It's my father up. is sober. Good. So my father talked on the phone for five minutes. So it's a period of time in the past. She chose to stay with her mother all day. Okay. All day is a period of time. And then we can use it also uh, for habits in the past. Here we can use adverse of frequency. So do you remember that in present, we used to use um, simple present tense for habits, right? When we say, I wake up early. I uh, always have breakfast. I uh, take a shower. That are habits. And we can use it for habits in the past. So, for example, I always did my homework on time when I was a student. So, that was an habit. Okay? It's in the past, but it was a repeated action. My father often read me tales before I went to bed. So, that is another, that is an habit in the past, often, right? But the verbs are in the past. When I was a young, I walked 10 miles to workplace every day. An habit in the past. Okay. So this is like when, when do we use the simple past tense? Do you have any questions about this? Question. Question, teacher. Very good. Then we are going to continue. Now we are going to check the structure of the simple past tense. It's very easy actually, okay? So for affirmative in the simple past tense, we're going to use, you can see here the, the comparison. We're going to compare the present and the past. So in the present, you say you live in Spain. So what we're going to do is that the verb is going to be in past, in simple past tense. You lived in Spain. That is in past. Interesting here because here we don't have third person. Do you remember that in simple past that was very, very complicated sometimes, right? Because you say he was and you have to add S. He lives in Spain. In past, no change. He lived. Okay. We don't have a rule for third person. All the people, I, you, he, we, she, we are going to use lived. No change at all. Any questions with that? 
No. Okay. Sorry about that. And uh, then we have uh, negative. For negatives, do you remember that in present we say you don't live in Spain and the verb don't change, no, right? Sure. In the negative in past is going to be very similar. We're going to change the auxiliary to past yeah. and we don't change the verb. So you didn't live in Spain. Again, pronunciation is very important here. Didn't, right? Didn't. Please didn't. don't say didn't. Didn't is not correct. Didn't. 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 You didn't live in Spain. Didn't. 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 That is didn't. true. Okay. Again, Definitely. we don't have a, a rule for third person. Okay, he doesn't live in Spain. That He's going to transform in he didn't. So we don't have third person. Didn't, didn't for all the people. You, he, she, it is going to be didn't. And again, we don't change the verb. The verb is going to stay in present. Okay, not in past. For the questions, is very similar as well. So uh, in the questions in present, we use the auxiliar before the subject. Do you live in Spain? The same is going to be in past, but the auxiliar is going to be in past. Did you live, live in present? That is important. Did you live in Spain? Did you live in Spain? And again, we don't have a rule for the third person. Does he live in Spain? It's going to be, did he live in Spain? Yes, he lived in Spain. So that is it, right? Do you have any question with the structure? No question. Okay. It is like the explanation, right? The verb only changes in affirmative sentences. And then in negative sentences and questions, the verb doesn't change. And the base form of the infinitive is just. That is it. Just remember that for the verb to be is different, right? That's what we checked before. If you are going to use the verb to be, we don't use did, right? We're going to say he was at home. He wasn't at home. Was he at home? Yes, he at home. So we don't use did there or something like that. Mm -hmm. That is the verb to be is separate from yeah, this. Yeah, uh, use in other verbs. In other verbs, never in the verb to be. Mm -hmm. That is it. Good, good. Questions, my friends? No questions. Okay, let me check the next one. Okay, this is uh, for regular verbs. Okay, <clears throat> for regular verbs, we have some rules. Regular verbs are all the verbs that we add D or ED at the end. But there are some rules depending on the verb itself. So for the most of the verbs, we are going to, uh, the verbs that ends in E, like live, we are just going to add D. So for example, live is going to be lived. Stare is going to be stared. Do you know what is a stair? No. Stair is like when you are watching something and you are so analyzing that one that you forget about the rest. The rest that is, that is there. So for example, if you say, oh, I'm staring at the moon. It's like that you are thinking and looking at the moon 
And if somebody talks to you, you don't listen. Something like that is a stare, okay? Okay. Okay, the other one is going to be for a verb that ends in Y, vowel and Y, like stay that has an A and the Y. We're going to add ED, stay. Yeah. Play is going to be play. Play. Okay. Those are kind of easy, Both let's say. The other one is going to be with consonant. So the ones that have a consonant and a Y, we're going to change the Y to an I. And we're, we're going to add ED. So for example, try. try. We delete the Y try. and we add I and it's going to be try. try. Okay. Or carry, that is going to be carry it. So it's important this difference, okay? Because it's kind of different. Then we have one syllable verbs that has a single vowel ending in a single consonant. We're going to double the final consonant and add ed. So that is important as well. This is one syllable, not rip. And is with a consonant at the end. So we're going to duplicate that consonant. Not is going to be not, and rip is going to be read. Okay, that is important as well. And then when we have two syllables stress on the second syllable, meaning that the force of the verb is going to be on the second one. Um, we're going to double the final consonant and add ed as well. So this one are two syllables, but you say commit. So the strong, the force is at the end, commit. And then we're going to duplicate the t and add ed, committed. Prefer, prefer it, okay? So, um, do you have any question? For example, I have a question for you. What is to try? Try. When I made something. When you made something new that you new, haven't yes. done before, right? Or yes. when you try food, right? For food, we, we can use this as well. We, when you try food. And that is it. Nod. Do you know what is to nod? No. That is very easy to show, not to explain. Nod is to do this with head. Uh -huh. That is not. Okay. Uh, and I don't think we have any other question. But do you have a question? Do you have any question here? No question. Okay, these are rules for the right. regular. Right. What is? We need to memorize this rule. Right. No, I don't think that you don't need to memorize because we're going to practice. Mm -hmm. uh, you are talking about which one? Rip? Yeah. Rip. Okay, rip. Uh, rip. Anybody, do you know what is to rip? Rip means uh, people die. Mm, no, that is rest in, the, in peace. In the, that is an acronym. That is R dot mm -hmm. I dot and P. But this is a verb. Rip is, Rip. for example, when you have a page, uh, uh, a blank page or any page, a notebook, okay, a piece of paper, you can mm -hmm. rip the paper. Oh, okay, um, okay. That is something. Like that is the yeah. action to rip something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That is very good. Okay, do you have any other question? No, okay. Okay, as I was telling you before, uh, 
you don't need to memorize, but it's important for you to understand. To understand okay. that regular verbs have rules. And uh, if we get to know those rules, everything is going to be fine. But maybe the most important is to learn the verbs, right? Uh, if you know a lot of verbs, it's going to be easier for you to speak, to talk, definitely. Mm -hmm. And vocabulary as well. Okay, so um, before we finish, uh, does everybody have access to the platform? Everybody, no problems with the platform right now? Yes, no, no problem for a while. No, did you? For the moment, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, could you please send the material? Okay, I'm going in the group. I'm going to send the screenshots, so you can check okay. it. Okay. So okay. that was a good. One. Thank you. And uh, you can start also practicing the platform. Try to do it so at the end you don't have a lot of work. Uh, and of course, we're going to check the platform in class. We're going to go into the exercises and read the objectives to practice. And uh, the knowledge check, maybe those are the ones that we're going to ask if you have a question or something like that. If you have questions about the platform, the class, or any other questions, remember that you can send me the question in the group or directly to me. And um, well, if you need anything, of course, I'm going to be there for you, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. okay thank you. It was a pleasure, my friends. This was just a first class. I hope you can come tomorrow and have a good night. Rest very well. Thanks. Thank you too. Thank you. See, you see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you tomorrow, everybody. <laughs>